dining out, meetings in groups of eight, having eight visitors, feeling less guilty about leaving the house. <laughs> Long ago, everything was great, but then freaking heightened alert came in and my life turned upside down. But anyway, enjoyed this vlog and um, things get quite rubber. Oh, yeah. Good morning, beautiful people. It is my mom's birthday, so I am making some pancakes for her. I have made this recipe so many times. I overmixed the batter, so she is not as fluffy and thick as usual. She's quite thin and spread out. I also made an affogato for myself. truly not the sharpest tool in the shed because when I got this thing I thought to insert the batteries you have to remove these two screws little did I know these screws are like impossible to take out I even bought this like precision screwdriver spent all night with my fingers throbbing trying to open it went to the hardware store to ask the guy to help me take it out and then when I came back to put in the batteries I realized something Oh, this is so cool. You know, I expected it to be more dramatic, but I mean, yeah, there is foam. Do you guys see that? I'm eating some cake my mom left in the fridge. I think her friends got this for her birthday. No complaints. I love having cake in the fridge. Oh, that's so good. Oh my God. I'm currently editing my Elitism and JC video. If you haven't watched that, I'll link that in the description box below. I got a parcel! I got another cup. And uh, I'm so obsessed with like eyes and my friend says it's like Illuminati. I mean... Oh. This is literally me in a cup. Hello! They're so cute. Hello, so we ended up going to like a food court for dinner to save money but we keep ordering more stuff. We literally have like our main meals plus two extra dishes. I just came across this book dispenser aka a book vending machine. What a morning, like I literally thought that I had Greek yogurt at home but guess what, it expired 4th of April, literally the 4th or 5th of May now, it's been a month. So I basically had to run to the store to get some Greek yogurt, I mean I got my new cute cup, I'm gonna be living my cafe fancy and making like a yogurt granola bowl. how she looks like. I think it's cute. Oh, this is so good, guys. Y'all, this box is so big and the thing inside oh. is just this. <laughs> it's like a little medicine capsule I got for my mom, but like, did they have to send a whole box for this? We've got, We've got another, another package. package. Me and my friend was like, didn't you just order for coffee? How are you done it so fast? And I was like, I have a coffee problem. I've been wanting to try this brand for so long. And if you guys would like to see my coffee reviews, I do some coffee critiques to see my highlights on my Instagram. Gishan Marcus can check out my coffee reviews there. I got some coffee from Perk Coffee. I got the, I'm not gonna try and pronounce that, but basically this has notes of lavender, peach, and wildberry. I got this for drip coffee and I got this one, Urbanite, which is chocolatey, nutty, and comforting. We all need some comfort in life, whether it be coffee or mac and cheese. <gasps> this is so cute. They give you little coffee stickers to put over here. See whether you've tried it already. I'm at Universal Studios with my mom. It's kind of empty. There are no shows going on. 
also, it's only the rides. Mom, would you like to say hi, hi. to the people? because this is like basically the best show at Universal Studios Singapore <gasps> Girl, the panorama Another tragedy. I mean, this is such a good show. Why? We're actually almost done with all. We've actually done. We've ridden all the rides you want to ride. It's grammatically correct. So now we're just gonna do some shopping and then have some fried chicken. I mean, Gucci who? 25 bucks. Let's see if this chicken is as good as I remember it. They even give out drink his cute little cup. Right? Yes, Absolutely in love with Gudetama and look at the Gudetama merchandise! Ah. The shirts are super cute too. This one is really cute. We got a TV! Found this TV from Prison first and it's pretty good disc up and it's a smart TV so it can like we can watch Netflix and YouTube on it. I look like a mess. Please excuse me, I'm like oh, I'm a homebody, so I didn't really bother to shave. It's been a while because I've been watching shows on my phone for the longest time, for like a year plus, and to have a TV, it's surreal. So yeah, we're just like slowly buying furniture to put in the new house, but we're gonna use it in this house first. The next thing we need is a dining table. She got a gold. What a boring ass vlog, also I'm growing up my stash because no one's gonna see me without a mask so I can't be bothered to shave. <laughs> so just like looking at my bags that I'm probably not gonna wear out much. Um, I just wanted to talk about the whole Gem Westgate situation because I did visit those places from May 1st to now so the government is like strongly encouraging those who have been to Gem Westgate to get tested. Honey, strongly encouraged means get tested so I signed up for it and I have my appointment tomorrow this is this will actually be my second swap test. I hope all is well. I'm not vaccinated yet, my mom is, but it's just like it's so scary that Miss Panorama is back and stronger than ever, spreading like butter, like no one's business. Yeah, so hope y'all are staying safe and I hope my test is okay tomorrow. Hi besties. I made myself breakfast and I didn't realize my mom already bought me breakfast. Um thank you, mom. But I literally will not be able to speak to anyone in the morning. Also, my mustache is gone. I shaved it, she's a baby again. Currently at this dodgy ass building, trying to find the place to get the swap test at. It is a struggle. We've been into like two rooms and it wasn't the place. Hi guys. 
guys, so that was over really quickly. Um, the guy did really fast. They did a good job. That was like some discomfort, but it wasn't so bad. I am back home after the swap test. My nose has been dripping like a uh, pet. And I was watching like a video and, and you know, when you're on YouTube, the number of ads that encourage you to get in on investment plans probably like 1 in 3 or something like that. Anyway, it's a lot. Like You see a lot of those like, give me like 5 seconds or something or like, are you investing in the stock market? If you're not, you're dumb. The thing is like, if you are so wealthy from investing in the stock market, I mean, you wouldn't have to be teaching it to like, as another source of income. Like, do you, do you get what I'm saying? If they were so successful in the stock market, they would not need to work for other forms of income. In this case, they are trying to get money from teaching you how to invest in the stock market. These are just my thoughts, okay? I just want you to know that I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm literally winging it from the recipe I found online. Today's cuisine is Korean because my mom and I want to have Korean. My mom was supposed to do the soup, but she said, do the soup. And I was like, I don't know how to do the soup. And I, so we're gonna see if this soup just turns out a watery mess because I can foresee it being that. Is why is it in the Because of water. There's water inside and throw away the oil. Ah! <laughs> yeah, let it play. Let it play. Okay, this is take two after I wiped the pot down. So proud of myself right now. Alright, so currently I'm marinating meat and I hate working with meat. I like eating meat but not so much touching it. So I'm gonna make some gochujang pork sweet and sour thing. I just wanted to use up the gochujang in the fridge. So I'm gonna make this sauce from scratch. Hopefully it tastes good. Fingers crossed. So this is the marinated meat. I'm gonna set that aside. My mom was hard at work making a pancake mixture. So we're gonna have a little Korean pancake moment. The finished product. Yummers. Hello, I have not vlogged in a while. There's some deforestation happening in my neighborhood. Um, I haven't done like an unboxing and like things I bought online in a while. I guess I'd show you guys what I got. So I've been waiting for this parcel for so long. I think I've waited for like literally almost 30 days for this. And it's just a chain hook for bags. And I think I got this for like $10 and they've got like so many different lengths and finishes. So it's a gunmetal hardware. It's really solid. It's really good quality. So my mom actually got this bag. I don't know if I showed you guys this just this beautiful leather pouch moment but they were selling the chains for like a hundred plus dollars and I was like mom I got you boo like I will find a chain online so oh my gosh do you guys see that they complement each other so well there's a great match so you just attach it like so ah, all right there we go and bam, you have a crossbody bag. This seems really long and my mom is shorter than me, so I don't know how she's gonna solve this problem. Okay, another way you can wear it is I have chosen to kind of like crisscross it in the center. So you can do a shoulder moment. Oh god, this bag is really cute. I'm gonna steal this from my mom or get this in a green version. But yeah, so if you guys are ever looking for like straps and chains for your bag, instead of buying like an entirely new bag, you can just buy these chains for like literally $10 or $11. I mean, they take a while to ship from AliExpress. I'll put the links in the description box below if you're interested. I mean, be patient y'all. It's not like we have places to go during this time. Anyway, next thing I got. I'm super excited. I got more hot coffee. I know you're probably like, How much coffee are you drinking? I got three different flavors. I bought the 80 grams one because I just want a little bit. And so far, my impressions of hot coffee is pretty negative, but it is good for the price. I feel like the coffees are very like meh quality. It's good for like daily drinking, but it's not like your special weekend expensive coffee, if you get what I mean. So I just got these three little bags. I'm so excited to drink them. I got Butterfingers, which is butter scotch cookies. This is for the French press. And then I got Crazy Rich Almonds. 
almond chocolate bar for drip and gold digger toffee nut brittle i have heard so many good things about this like all my friends are like saying gold digger is so good you gotta try it so i'm giving her coffee three more chances and if none of these impress me it's on to the next one it's kind of overwhelming because there are so many damn coffee brands like i'm already planning what to buy next this this is how i go broke this is this is how i go broke and as usual, my vlogs have no outros, but thank you guys so much for watching. We are so close to 300 subscribers, so if you enjoy my content, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Till my next video, stay safe and healthy wherever you are. Bye!